Hey, good Monday morning, everyone. Looking forward to a great week. Hope your day is off to a great start. As I often say, if it's not, then just kind of pause and reset and ask God to just help you to gather your thoughts and get, get uh, restarted. So we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 9 through 15, looking uh, back to uh, last Sunday's message. We're going to be looking at a series called Build Your Life Series. So let's read here out of God's Word, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, beginning with verse 9. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God which was given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building on it. But each man must be careful how he builds on it. For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each man's work will become evident. For the day will show it because it is to be revealed with fire, and the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. If any man's work which he has built on remains, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. So thinking about building our life on the Word of God, building our life through faith in Jesus Christ, uh, have you ever seen an elaborate, masterfully crafted sandcastle? The best builders are painstaking in every detail as, the craft, as they craft these beautiful works of art. The towers are straight, the windows are even, and sometimes the entire or the outline of the individual bricks can be seen on each wall. The end result is often stunning, rivaling the elegance of homes in the wealthiest neighborhoods of the world. But for all the sandcastle splendor, its hours are numbered. From the moment the first grain of sand is set in place, the miniature building is on its way to oblivion. Within hours, the details are destroyed by wind, rain, and an incoming tide. There is simply no future for a house built on sand. Sometimes believers' lives are like sandcastles. Even though everything looks perfect on the outside, their lives, pursuits, and activities will be revealed as worthless at some point because they have not built their life upon a foundation that can withstand the pressures of life and the pressures of the enemy that he puts forth each and every day upon people's lives. The most important thing in life is to make sure we have the right foundation. As we were preaching Sunday morning, that right foundation is Jesus Christ and the Word of God. And the Lord knows that we also need our life to, with faithful, to be served out in faithfulness to the Lord Jesus Christ. The goal is not to have the most impressive looking life in this world, but to build one that demonstrates our devotion to the Lord Jesus Christ who saved us and who has rescued us. So with that thought in mind, think about through this week of how you're going to build your life or how you are in the present tense in building your life. Make sure you're in the word. Make sure you're in prayer. Make sure you're just not pursuing life in, in some way that, that is going to end up uh, in, a, in a sense of worthlessness, but make sure you're living each day and making it count for your faith, for your family, and for those that are, that are trusting your leadership and your guidance and your prayers. So be in prayer, be faithful, and be obedient to what God has, and I'll see you tomorrow.